Okay, so this is Flat Icon. This is a really great site to find high quality icons for your presentations. So on the home page, you're going to go into the search bar and you're going to look for something that you want an icon of. So the icon for this particular day, let's say it is a, uh, let's say talking about the human body and we want to find the heart. So let's say heart. So up the top of your search results up here, you're going to find all these sponsored ones. Uh, they're no good because when you click on those, they'll take you to an external page, which will no doubt be asking you to pay for them. So just get rid of those tabs. You don't want those. Go back to the original search results and look for the ones underneath. So you've got 50,000 icons. So it's quite a lot to choose from. Um, what you will need to do is prob probably think about the background that you're going to share them on. Okay, so uh, this is my presentation here, which I'm going to put them into. All right, so if I had just, let's say, just a, a blank page here. So I'm on a white background for my presentation. So I'm probably going to want something to contrast with that. Um, not these paid ones here. You can see they've got a little crown under them, so they're paid ones. So I can filter out some of that stuff up here just by going, I only want free ones. So they all disappeared now. And if I want to be even simpler, I could then say, right, I only want, um, let's say, black field because I've got a white background. So I've only got the field ones now. So let's go with this one. It's got a nice little symbol on it for a heartbeat. Next step is to download your icon. So you can see over here there are three different colors. Okay, there's um, no fill, there's pink field, and there's black. So I think this fits best as a contrast for my white background. So you're going to go over to PNG and you're going to go to free download. Okay, so I'll download it first and then I'll show you something else that you'll need to do in order to attribute it to the author. All right, so I've got the download now. I'm going to put it on my desktop, save it. And now you can see I've got my heart um, icon down there. So I go back to my keynote or my presentation, wherever you're sharing it. And I'm just going to actually put that in now and show you how that looks. I drag it onto my slide. All right, so with these icons, they don't get pixelated when you drag them out to be really big. So this is why it's good to just not download them off Google because you'll get much better quality ones on these. So I've got my heart there now um, to use in my slide. All right, so actually I can't just put that in a presentation without attributing it. So the last thing I want to do is just make sure I uh, attribute who made it. So it says here on the attribution guide, just make sure you figure out who published this one. So if I go back to the original, uh, this one was made by Freepik. You can actually see it on here. It says uh, who made this, Freepik. So how to attribute, you're going to just go and say, um, there's a little button that just sort of says how, how to attribute it. Um, Sorry, it's a bit slow, so I'm just going to go back to this one and show you on here. So this is what it looks like when you click on the how to attribute. So basically, this one was made by FreePix, so it gives you a little example here. If it's made by Pixel Perfect, it would say that. If it's made by FreePix, you just want to say icon made by FreePix, and it just links flat icon to show you uh, where you found it. So on a presentation, you should be also adding that somewhere on the slide, and that's a good thing to be teaching uh, students as well. Now, you don't even really need to have it very big. It can be really small. You can make it very small, actually, so you can barely even read it as long as it's on the presentation. Okay, that's all you need to do to cover yourself for copyright. And that is Flat Icon.